my god. Good morning. Oh, that new little girl is coming today. New little girl? Yeah, I told you. She's gonna be in your class around nine-ish. The mom said she's gonna be a little bit late. Nobody told me, but it's that's not a big deal. I mean, I'll go set up, but it's kind of crappy. She's gonna be late on her first day. It's not like it's the first day of the school year. It's okay. I mean, she'll be fine. She's two. I was just worried about like introductions with the mom and it'll be fine. It'll all be fine. Great. Good morning, Liliana. Yep. Go ahead and put it in the cubby. Okay, it's almost time for snack time, so why don't we all sit with a book and read quietly while Miss Cece goes and sets up the snacks. It's weird. It's 10 o'clock. These fruit cups really good. Okay, great. Um, as far as the new girl, is, is she still coming? I mean, it's 10 now. Don't stress about it. They'll be here when they get here. Uh, okay. When we do not hit our friends. Yeah, I can open that juice box. Hey, Daniel, get down off the table. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't see you there. Well, I can't see how. I've been standing here for five minutes. <laughs> Just have a lot going on. You are? I am Tina. And this is January. Hi, January. Hi, Tina. So what is it that we have going on over here? Oh, the, the kids are just, they're having snack. Snacks. Hmm. Yeah, Daniel, down off the table, buddy. Thank you. Quite the rambunctious group you've got here. And uh, these snacks are not exactly within January's diet. Uh, yeah, if, if fruit is, is not a part of her diet, you can always bring other alternative snacks. I mean, we don't have fruit every day, but. Oh, she won't be needing a snack today. Yeah, Jordan, I can tie your shoe. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I think it's a little ridiculous that you can't carry a conversation with me without doing six other things. I mean, isn't there someone who can do this for you so you can give my daughter a proper introduction? I mean, for God's sakes, it's her first day here. Jordan, please go sit down. Thank you. It's just hard to have a one-on-one -on -one when I have all these kids. So, as I was saying, January just would not be able to participate in these these um, snacks that you have because as I've just stated she had a snack before she came freshly picked avocado spread on freshly baked bread so I don't I don't think she'd be able to digest this plastic mm-hmm oh, I can only imagine the lunch options oh well, today so what comes after snack Henry that's Isabella's bottle um after snack we I'm sorry but I meant it when I asked you is there someone else that can do this I mean I, I think she deserves better now I, I don't really know what you want me to tell you. I have a class here I have to watch and take care of. Maybe, like I was trying to say, if you could come after class, we could talk a little bit more, or maybe before class tomorrow morning. Mm, that's not quite what I asked. Doesn't she deserve better than this? I don't really know what you want me to say to that. You don't know, because the answer is yes. Okay, Um. so like I was trying to say- Do not interrupt me. I was not trying to- Miss Cece? Uh, yes. Oh, for the love of God, do you not see two adults having a conversation here? Please do not talk to other kids, especially in that manner. I'm sorry, but these children don't have any manners. My January would never. Okay, regardless of whether you think they have manners or not, you really are not entitled to speak to them that way. I can't really have you hanging around in my classroom either, so if you want to drop her off, we can have her drop her off, and we can continue this conversation again after today or tomorrow morning. Oh, if you think I'm leaving her alone on her first day, you're out of your mind. I'll sit just over there and I'll keep watch. Yeah, I'm really sorry. You're not going to be able to... Before you even begin, I know the director. So, like I said, I'll sit just over there. You won't even know I'm here. Act like I'm not here. All right. January, why don't you come on and have a seat with your friends? Come on. All right, friends. This is our new friend, January. I want this. I, yeah. I'm not here. Um, so mommy had said that you already had a snack for this afternoon, so maybe, maybe no fruit cup today. I want it. I'm so sorry, love. If you could just give it to Miss Cece and we maybe can see if mommy has another snack for you. I am not here, but she's had plenty enough to eat already today. And I want it, 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 I want it. I want it. Maybe you can let me know what kind of snack she can have and I can see if we have any of in our pantry. Like I said, she's had enough to eat. If her hungry, why her no eat? See, this is exactly why you can't be in here. I can't have you giving these kids dirty looks like that. I mean, what he's saying is true. If she's hungry, why can't she have another snack? I thought I made this perfectly clear, but apparently I did not. I will not be leaving my daughter here for on her first day, her second, however long I see fit until I know that she is safe here at the school, okay? And she's already had her snack, so she does not need another. I don't understand how that can be your logic. She's two, I mean, she can be more hungry. Do you typically leave the child ignoring them while you argue with the parent, or is this your typical code of conduct? Because it's pretty embarrassing. Typically, we don't have the parent in the classroom. 
So handle the situation as if I'm not here. But you are here. Act like I'm not. January, why don't we go sit on the reading rug? Snack time's pretty much over. I want it. I understand that you want it, but can you please just give it to Miss Cece? No, I want it. I understand you want it, but I'm just gonna take it from you, okay? Ow! <laughs> she just kicked me. She gave you the fruit cup, and she's on the reading rug, so I don't see a problem. <laughs> January, we do not hit our friends. We do not hit our teachers. We do not kick or hit anyone. <laughs> Baby, come here. How dare you speak to her like that? Speak to her how? By telling her that we don't hit people? Tell anyone what they can and can't do with their body? That's self-expression. This daycare, like I'm pretty sure every other daycare, has a no-hitting policy. She's never told any of this. We are leaving. This is absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe you'd speak to her in such a way. I said everything that I said to her with a gentle, even tone, explaining to her that she can't do what she did. I mean, what? You screamed at a kid a minute ago. First of all, I did not yell. And second of all, I apologized. So, <laughs> yes, buddy. For the love of God, this place is trash. You can't even carry a conversation with me. We're leaving. Yeah, that's great, Tina. That's wonderful. All right, there's there's the door. Excuse me? There's the door because I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you. You won't supply adequate food for your daughter. You want to argue with me and yell at children. I don't understand what you want from me. I have a class here that you can clearly see but choose to ignore. I... <laughs> Again, if you want to carry a conversation, we can have it after class or tomorrow morning. But at this rate, we're going. <laughs> Take care. Wow, some nerve you've got. I don't care, Tina. Get out of my classroom. <laughs> Debbie will be knowing all about this. <laughs> Great. Great, Tina. Goodbye. Okay. After red comes orange, then what comes next? All right, everybody, let's lay down. It's time for quiet time. I'm going to turn on the music. Okay. Good afternoon. Hi. Look at my amazing shirt. Woman in her Dr. Pepper. Oh my god. Is it not the most amazing thing ever? I mean, I also have a package coming later this week. Um, something else. So just make sure when it gets here, just hand it over to me. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, but yeah, no problem. When it gets here, I will make sure I give it to you, like always. No, this isn't just like any other package. I mean, this one's very important. It's something for my office that I am very excited about. So when it gets here, give it to me. Will do. <laughs> oh, did Tina in January ever? I don't see her here. Did never show up? Uh, sh she came and then, and she left, so. Weird she wouldn't leave January. I mean, that's Tina though. She's very finicky. I, I'll talk to her later and see how she felt about everything. Thank you. Okay, great. Great. Sorry, I'm running a bit behind. Go take a break. You're totally fine. I will be back in just a little bit. No, I was thinking the same thing. It does seem like they know each other. It just, when she walked in, I was fully expecting her to be mad, and she totally wasn't. She was absolutely fine. In fact, in fact she was more excited than I've ever seen her. She had a new shirt, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to stress about it anymore. I want to take my break and relax and just not think about it, because honestly, it's not worth it. Thank you so much. Hey, love. Well, I hope you enjoyed your break. Sure did. We're done. Dad's here. A good one, you guys. Just wanted to let you know, Crystal and Delilah's mom said she's gonna be about an hour later than usual. Okay. And you have those reports filled out for me yet? They've had two parent pickups already. Here are the rest. Um, I really like to see them before they're sent out. Um, these look good. So, uh, yeah. As soon as I um have them done, I will bring them to your office just in case anyone picks up early. Great. Okay, great. One more thing before you leave today, make sure you step into my office. Okay. She asked me like 20 minutes ago to go into her office before I leave, so I don't know. She didn't seem mad, but I don't, I don't know. There goes nothing. Come on in. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's been a minute since we chit-chatted. Just wanted to touch base and see how you're doing. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing good. Oh, that's so good to hear. I mean, you've always done wonderful. You know that. I mean, since you started here, I just feel like we, we often don't get to communicate. Well, let me not take up too much more of your time. Why don't you head on home, and I'll see you tomorrow. Sounds great. Oh, one more thing. I spoke to Tina, and she actually had an emergency she had to tend to, so I appreciate you being so understanding when she had to go. She'll be here tomorrow, first thing bright and early in the morning. She said she'll be early. Oh, she said she'd be early. Which honestly is really unlike her, but she said she was adamant she'll be here before class tomorrow. Great. All right, perfect. Then I'll see you tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow now i don't know what the hell's going on she's she's in like the best mood i've ever seen her in um and uh, she had nothing really to say to me in the office she just wanted to ask what i was doing so. why hello well you look half asleep good morning tina good morning uh, i forget what was your name again miss cc 
Miss Cece. Um, I do believe I'm owed an apology. I'm sorry, an apology? Well, an apology and a, and a thank you as well, honestly, because after the way you spoke to me, which is what you should be apologizing for, uh, I gave you a second chance at your job, so. Look, Tina, I never would have had to- Not only did I do that, but I also have come at these ungodly hours of the morning to continue a conversation with you that you don't even seem to want to have with me. I asked you to come before or after class to talk about your daughter's diet and her behavior, not to have you demand apologies and thank yous from me. My daughter's diet? My daughter's diet is pristine. She's the leanest kid in this whole entire classroom. Lean? I mean, she's two, and she's the only kid out of yesterday who was begging and demanding for a snack because every other child in here was stuffing their face full of fat, processed, sugary garbage, how would they even have the time to sit there and tell you that they were hungry for some real food? Tina, it's 6.45 in the morning. I don't care if it's midnight. It's still fat, processed, sugary garbage. It's a fruit cup. This is not fruit. Once they get it all in here in this smushed up, condensed, sugary garbage, it's no longer fruit. This is, <laughs> it's ruined. Tina, the box literally says that there's no added sugar and that it's in 100% real fruit juice. Well, of course they put that. That's what they want you to think. They want you to eat it so you get all the chemicals into your body. I think we should just agree to disagree and talk about what we're here for. Agree to disagree? I mean, you guys should be jailed for giving these children this stuff, really. I don't think we should be jailed for giving kids fruit. For the last time, that is not fruit! Hey Tina, why don't we talk about your daughter's diet? Are your ears not working? I just got done telling you she's the slimmest kid in Tina. this class. She doesn't need a diet. I don't understand why you keep mentioning Tina. diet. Tina! What? I never said that your two-year-old needs to go on a diet. I want to talk about her diet, as in what she eats in a day, so I can give her the appropriate snacks that you expect us to be giving her. Oh. Well, you aren't giving her any of that garbage. Established? What can she have? Well, in the morning she enjoys a fresh parfait without the granola, um, or some egg whites over some whole wheat, whole grain toast. Um, oh, but we, we do breakfast at home, so I guess you don't have to worry about that. Let's talk about snack. Let's. So for snack, I will bring her an avocado, which you can peel and then slice and put onto the whole wheat, whole grain toast, which I'll also provide. Someday she might prefer pumpernickel. And then for lunch, she'll have a vegetable salad and I'll bring all of the preparations for that for you to go ahead and fix that together before lunch. Okay, so I don't know, I don't know, because you wanted to talk about my daughter's diet plan, so now we're talking about my daughter's diet plan. What is it that you don't know? I don't know if I'm going to have the time to set aside to prepare each of those meals for her. Typically, we prepare all of the kids' meals together, all at the same time, and they all eat the same thing, aside from the kids who bring in their packed lunch, which is, again, prepared in the lunchbox already. Please, now you're just being lazy. There's no difference between preparing a quinoa and cucumber salad than there is opening a bacteria-filled Lunchable. It's not the difficulty, it's just that I might not have adequate time to cut cucumbers and prepare quinoa salad. Now, if you had it in her lunchbox prepared, that's a different story. No, why would I put her food into a container so it can sit and fester? I mean, that's like asking me to put my breast milk into a bottle. And what would be wrong with that? Are you kidding me? I'm in a Facebook group all about this. The second that that milk touches that bottle, all of the chemicals from it go into the milk, polluting it entirely and making it toxic. Right. It's true. I promise you, my daughter has never eaten anything that's come on out of a container or a package or been sitting for any amount of time. Okay, I hear you, but you take your daughter to a daycare, so I'm not really sure how you think we're going to have the time to prepare these meals for each and every day. Like I said, it's no different than opening up Susie's Lunchable. I mean, it's really no different. But it is, though. I mean, it takes more time and, and more work. No, it doesn't. It is, though, and, and you've seen it. Once they come through the door, all 20 of those kids, they don't stop. So I feel like you're having kind of nanny requirements for a daycare. I'm sorry, nanny requirements? Yeah, like if you were to hire a nanny, you'd have them do specific tasks that a daycare staff more likely would not be doing, and you'd pay them more to be doing that. Oh, I see what this is about. You just want to be paid more. No, no, no. That yes, 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 yes. Because you don't want to do the job that I'm paying you to do. I've paid extra to be here even. Because I'll have you know, I would love for my daughter to be with a live-in nanny. However, my husband thinks that my daughter should be socialized. Okay, whatever you guys choose to do with your daughter is totally your choice. But I just want to make it abundantly clear. I am not asking you for any sort of money. Well, I think that you are, because what other reason would there be for you to not just do the simple tasks that I've asked you to do? I mean, like I said, I've paid extra for this. I don't pay what the rest of these kids' parents pay. Okay, but I, I pay more so January gets better treatment. Consider her VIP. This is a daycare. Is it? 
Yeah, it is. And there aren't levels to this. You can't just say that one child is more superior than the other. It wouldn't take but a second to see which children are superior. Okay, Tina, I have about 15 minutes before the kids come storming in here and I really need to get my classroom ready. If we could please get to where we are supposed to be with this conversation. Well, I've said everything I need to say. I'm gonna go home and pick up January and we'll be back in just a little bit. And as far as her meals, we just got through discussing them. No, we... So I'll see you in about 30 minutes. <laughs> Morning, Jackie. Hi, Isabella. All right. And no January. <laughs> Who wants to pick a book for reading? Hey, sorry to interrupt. Tina just called and said she's sorry that she was here this morning and now gonna be late, but she's gonna be about 20 minutes late. Okay, great. Is everything all right? Um, yeah, can I talk to you later? Yeah, did, did my package come in yet though? No, I haven't seen anything, but like I said, I will bring it to you as soon as I do. Great, I'm so excited. <laughs> Put a smile on your face. That's better. Good morning, guys. All right, well, if you need me, I'll be in my office. But the second that package gets here, bring it to me. Will do. Great. Hers is happy. Yes, yeah, she is, isn't she? Do you need a tissue? No. Okay. All right, everybody, it's time for nap time. Get cozy and comfy. I'm going to turn on the music. Okay. And still no Tina. Or January. Hello. Sorry for a few minutes late. A few hours, but that's all right. Hi, January. Is everything okay? What is this? What is what? Why are all the children sprawled out all over the floor as if it isn't a bacteria-filled playground? They- God, everywhere I look in this daycare, there's something wrong. I'm gonna have to speak to Jerry about this because this just won't do for January. They're all on their own mat with their own pillows and blankets, so I don't- I don't really know how else you expect us to let them all go down for a nap. I expected you to have a nursery where there was beds for every child and adequate distance up from the floor. Well, I mean, do you have the infants rolling all over the floor as well? No, if you would let me speak, I would explain to you that the infants have cribs in their nurseries, but the- Oh, so the tiny humans get beds, but when they become able to walk, we just forget hygiene altogether? There simply isn't enough space here to have another room full of beds. The infants have cribs because it's safer for the infants to have cribs. Each of the mats are disinfected regularly, and the, the blankets and pillows are sent home to be washed. As if germs don't move, January? All of your friends right now are getting covered with creepy, creepy little bacteria bugs. Ugh. See, if a two-year-old can grasp that it's disgusting, why can't you? Nothing to say. If you don't like it here and the way that we do things here, maybe find somewhere else to go. Or find a nanny. Funny how after all of this, you still think that I want to leave it with you. Clearly you are inadequate. So go find someone else. I thought I heard you, Dina. How's it going? Oh, hi, Deb! How's it going? Give me a kiss. Everything has been wonderful, Debbie. Miss Cece. Miss Cece is just the best. It's just so great to hear. Why are you making that face? Uh, no, it just seemed like you guys knew each other. Oh, we do. That's my brother's ex-wife. Legally. <laughs> For now. But we are getting remarried. Right, I gotta get that out of my brain. You're no longer his ex-wife. Oh. Yes, when Jerry called me and told me the good news that they were getting back together, he told me he wanted January at a daycare, which... I gotta be honest, Tina, I never thought you'd go for it, but I'm so happy everything's working out. <laughs> anyway, did your presents get here yet? Not yet, but I told her as soon as it gets here, bring it to me. Oh, I'm so glad. I hope you love it. If it's anything like what I've been imagining, I know I'll be in love. Well, don't let me interrupt you guys. You guys were clearly having a conversation, so I'm gonna head back to my office. All right, hun. It's back to what I was saying. I I'll cut it with the faces. She's almost as exhausting as her brother. If he's exhausting, why are you remarrying him? I didn't realize you were a divorce attorney. Oh, right. You're my child's daycare teacher. Tina, I don't really want to deal with you any further. And like I was trying to say before Debbie came in and interrupted, maybe it's time for you to find a better fit. Are you stupid? Because clearly I can't. She owns the daycare. And if I have an issue with her daycare, then Jerry's going to have an issue with me having an issue with his sister. I don't care. I, I don't care. <laughs> I just want to do my job. Great, so you do your job. Here are the cucumbers and here's the quinoa. And here's your cucumber and quinoa back. I am not preparing the food. You can bring it to me prepared and I will serve it to your daughter for lunch. That is the only way it is going to be fed. Unless you want her to eat the school prepared lunches. Then I have no issue preparing those, but I'm not going to prepare a specific individual different lunch for your child unless there is a medical reason. What makes my views and beliefs any different from a medical reason? 
You absolutely can have your views and beliefs, but when it comes to bringing a child into a facility, you're signing down paperwork and agreeing to the way things are run here. Th th those are the rules. That's how things are run here. Well, I just simply don't agree with it. And that's why there are nannies. I've already explained to you I can't hire a nanny because my husband thinks that she needs to socialize. None of the things that you are saying have anything to do with my job, so I'm not really sure why they're being explained to me. I've made things abundantly clear. You don't like it. Leave. Oh, for the love of God, I can't. I can't leave. <laughs> How many times do I have to say the same thing? Oh my god, let me take this from Appreciate it. She got these two packages here for Debbie. Thank you so much. Have a good day. As I was saying, I can't leave. Stop, Tina. I don't care and I don't want to hear any more about it. I really genuinely do not. I want to continue to do my job. I need to bring these boxes to Debbie. And if you don't like what's going on here, then leave, please. For the love of god, I can't leave. No, cut the cucumbers. Prepare the quinoa. No, because then what on earth am I paying you for? Goodbye. I can't. I can't. Or in, again, don't mind watch the class really quick so I can run to the Debbie's office. I just have these two boxes I need to deliver to her. Oh, go, go ahead. Thank you. I don't care what you do, but th figure it out. <laughs> Come in. <gasps> boxes! Yeah. There's two! Give it to me now! Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Because that was in the second box too? <gasps> Is this not the best thing you've ever seen? This is amazing. Just think of how my office is gonna look. <laughs> I can imagine. That's really, really awesome. Now don't get too excited now, because first chance I get, locks are going on these bad boys. Well, I don't steal sodas, and I don't really like Dr. Peppers, so you're definitely good. Okay, right, well thank you for my packages. Uh, actually, before I go, I was wondering if I could talk to you about Tina. Or I could come back at a different time. Could you? Shut the door on your way out. Okay. Psst. Wake up. Wake up, play. January, our friend is trying to sleep, so let's get off of their sleeping mat, please. Come on. Come on, love. Where's your mom? Gone. Gone? You've got to be kidding me. I'm hungry. You're hungry. Great. Okay, lunch is gonna be soon, okay? I hungry, I want that. Uh, you can't have that, so why don't we talk to Miss Debbie and see what you can have. Aunt Debbie? Yes, your Aunt Debbie. Lauren? I heard it all. Go, go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, January. Come in. Sorry to interrupt, but... But? Oh, hi, Jan. What are you doing up here with January? That's actually why I came in here to talk to you. So I was trying to talk to Tina about January's meal plans, but she doesn't want her to have any of the school prepared lunch. And she also doesn't want to put things into a lunchbox and have that be sitting. Um, she wants me to prepare her fresh lunch every day, different from what the other kids are eating. I tried to explain to her that that's not possible. And she ended up just leaving January with a cucumber and quinoa with a note for me to figure it out. Cu cucumber and quinoa? She's two. Do you want to eat cucumber and quinoa? Uh-uh. See, I don't, I don't understand why those would be her only two options. I, that didn't come from me, that came from Tina. She has a lot of different views. Different views? Yeah, the food, I mean, packaging of food, the mats being on the ground, that, there's a lot of things. What do you want to eat? A cup. She wants a fruit cup. Okay, so give her a fruit cup. I have no issue with that, she's more than welcome to have a fruit cup, it's just that Tina was very adamant that she is not allowed to have a fruit cup. Oh God, what are you doing? Jerry? Your daughter wants a damn fruit cup, is that all right? Just cause she bought me Dr. Pepper merch does not mean she can wreak have it at my job, she's drama. Go enjoy a cup with Miss Cece, go ahead. I done told you this last time. Drama, 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 you don't learn lessons. Let me go get your snack. All right, here you go. Thank you. You are very welcome. Hey guys, it's time for lunch time, everybody sit down. How's it going in here? It's going good. A lot better than it was this morning. Um, but what do I do for her lunch? Whatever's on the menu for lunch. Okay, perfect. Hey, a mom just called the front desk. She seems a little upset. She really, really wants to speak with you. Did she mention a name? Tina? Yeah, I figured as much. Why don't you just tell her to go ahead and call Debbie because I am busy right now. Look, I know I'm like a as need wherever people need me and I'm totally good with that, floating around, doing whatever, but I really don't want to be in the middle of this. Yep, yeah, no, that's fair. Um, is there any way that you could just pass it on to Debbie that she's on the phone? I can watch your class while you go deal with it. Okay, yeah, that'd be great, actually. Come in. Hi, so 
What now? Well, Tina's on the phone and she's pretty upset because I gave her daughter lunch, I'm presuming. I haven't spoken to her, but from what I've heard, she's extremely upset and she wants to speak to me, but I don't want to speak to her, so I figured that she could speak to you. When I tell you this girl comes with nothing but drama, she comes with nothing but drama. Transfer the phone number over to me. Yeah, it should be transferred over to your phone already. Hello? You just wait till these nails are done. I don't know who thinks it's okay for me to sit here while I wait for a teacher who feeds my daughter trash. Tina? Debbie? Yeah. Oh, uh, the stick is up, Tina. You think because you gave me gifts that you are able to do whatever you want here and that's just not the case. Oh, I don't think that. I just want to- No, 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 no. Like I said, the stick is up. Debbie, it's I- It's up now. Because I understand exactly what's going on here. And my brother knows as well. What do you mean Jerry knows? Oh, he sure does. Tina, what do you think he fed them while you were apart? Cheese from a can, frozen fruits, fruit cups, fruit? Oh, I don't care. Oh, He's don't just... start with that. I know you do. Keep your dysfunctionality away from my daycare, Tina. What have I ever done to you? Since the moment you met my brother, you've caused my family nothing but drama. Get out of my office. I'm not in your I office. I wasn't talking to you. I'm a floater teacher, so no, I'm not the original teacher that you see, but... Hey, is everything okay? No, everything is most certainly not okay. She's saying that my Anthony bit somebody, but Anthony just doesn't bite people. Yeah, so we did actually have an incident with Anthony today. I know it's very unlike him, but... No. Yeah, it was actually not a huge deal. He just did leave a mark on the little boy, so we just wanted to make sure we wrote up a report about it. Who did he bite? Yeah, I actually can't disclose that to you, so... If my son was the one that was bitten, you'd tell me who bit my son. No. Actually, we would not. Well, that's ridiculous. I'll tell you, nothing's more ridiculous or disgusting than what they're feeding our children. What do you mean? Oh my god, it's disgusting. Look, it's a conference with the Karens. What did you say? Nothing. Tell me more about this food that they're feeding them. It's no different than any of the food that you've seen. Clearly it is. I've never seen any disgusting food. Well, clearly they hide the disgusting food when you come then, because it's disgusting. What are they feeding them? Where is that toxic cup that you were feeding the children? Oh my god, a toxic cup? Just wait till you see. Here's one toxic cup. Oh my god. See? And she tried to tell me I was crazy. Wait, what's wrong with it? I mean, it's not, it's not expired. Okay. What do you mean? Do you feed your child that? Yeah, they're one of my son's favorites. I, I thought you had like moldy food or something, something truly toxic that they were feeding to the children. I just, I don't understand why you think that this is toxic. Moldy food would be better than this. I mean, this is grown with no goodness in it. It's, it's strictly chemicals. <laughs> okay. Um, back to my son and the biting situation. There is seriously something wrong with all of you. I don't understand how you can be okay with toxic chemicals. I mean, they're cancer causing. Don't tell me something's wrong with me. Just because you're into conspiracy theories and want to project them on everyone else as if they are fact, when it's it's literally a fruit cup. I mean, oh, of course. The second I start thinking for myself, I'm labeled as a conspiracy theorist. Classic. You know, I really thought that I might have a friend in you, but clearly you're just as diminished as the rest of them. Is there some form of evidence that I can view to sign this paperwork to prove that my son actually did bite somebody, which I very much highly doubt? Yes, we do have a camera on the playground. Well, I want to see the video. So I personally can't access that, and Debbie is actually not here at the moment, but when she gets back, or tomorrow morning, she'd be able to show you that footage. Well, I'm not signing anything until I see evidence. I mean, this could go on his record. Come on, January. Say goodbye to Miss Cece, because this is the last you'll be seeing of her. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, I really thought she was normal for a second. I mean, bet you're happy to get rid of that crazy in here, huh? Well, like I was saying, I'm not signing this report till I see evidence. Like I said, you're going to be able to see that footage, but as far as signing the paper, it's just so I made you aware that it happened. But I'm not aware that it happened. But I just made you aware that it happened. I have yet to see evidence, so therefore it did not happen in my opinion, and I'm not going to let a mistake made on your part tarnish my son's record. For the love of God, he's two. What? He's two. What does that matter? No matter what age he is, any reports that are made against him or any complaints that are made against him are going to eventually affect his record when I try to take him into a good preschool. Anthony isn't a biter. You said it yourself. So this would be the first report. I mean, he doesn't have a record. It's not like he's going into high school. Unless he has a mass quantity of reports, there's nothing that's going to withhold him from going into a good preschool. If a school sees on his list that he's a biter, they're never going to want him there. That's just not how it works. I mean, pretty much everyone in this class has hurt each other in some way at some point. There are two accidents happen, they're learning boundaries. But my son has never hurt anyone. I mean, you know this. I don't think any of these kids are going out of their way to try to hurt each other. I think it's accidents, like I said, and they're learning boundaries. 
my son knows boundaries and he knows not to fight. So as far as I know, he did not do anything and I'm not signing any paperwork until I see footage otherwise. Okay. Okay. And I don't really know what you want me to do. I've already explained to you the situation. You don't want to sign the paperwork. Where else do I go from there? No, nope. just seems odd that two seconds ago I had to sign the paperwork before I leave and now it's just fine, but okay. Come on, Anthony, let's go. I never said you had to sign it. I just wanted you to sign it because typically I don't have an issue getting it signed. It's just a simple thing that happened with the kids and acknowledged and done. But if you want to see the footage before you sign it, that's no big deal. That's really not how you're making me feel though. And I don't really like your whole attitude, honestly. And I thought she was a little crazy, but maybe, maybe that had something to do with you as well. Let's go, buddy. Have a good one. Bye, Kinsey. Do you have that incident report for me? I tried to get her to sign it. She wouldn't sign it. She said she wants to see the footage tomorrow morning. What footage? The camera on the playground. The cameras out there haven't worked for over two weeks now. Why would you tell her that there's footage? Well, she asked for evidence, and I did not know that the cameras in the back weren't working. As I've said before, it is not your job or your place to offer camera footage to parents. That's my job. You send them to me. Okay, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. It better not. I mean, I don't even get to go home now. I have to deal with this instead. The, the amount of problems you've caused me today. I didn't cause the rest of the problems today. Those problems were caused by your dysfunctional family, which honestly seems like a conflict of interest and shouldn't even be happening. You need to watch your tone and watch who you're speaking to before you lose your job. If you're gonna fire me for me telling you how I feel at the end of the day where I'm stressed out and all of these things have happened and now you're putting the blame on me, then I, I mean, I can find somewhere else to work that's gonna treat me with much more respect. I love the kids, but I'm not gonna stand for you treating me like this. Treat you like what? I took your side today. I know that Tina is dysfunctional and crazy. So what are you even talking about? You may have initially taken my side, but you've treated me like crap every moment since and you literally just put all of the blame on me. I think it's time for you to go home and come back tomorrow with a better attitude. My attitude is not the problem here, but fine. Have a great night. Well, I was planning on it, but now I'm not going to be able to. How am I gonna tell this parent tomorrow? There is no camera footage. Good morning. Good morning, Lauren. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. That's the spirit. Morning, ladies. Good morning. Okay, well, when you're done doing what you're doing, Let's have a quick chat in my office. I will be there in just a few minutes. Wonderful. Keep up the good work, Lauren. Thank you. So much for a good day, huh? Ah, don't lose hope already. It's only 7 a.m. It's already 7? But isn't it weird that there's nobody here yet? I mean, we at least have three kids by now, usually. Who knows? Maybe there's traffic. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go take care of this real quick so that way when they do show up, I will be here. Come in. Let's get right to the chase. What are you gonna tell Anthony's mom when she comes in today requesting to see footage? I will tell her to go find you. No, because you're the one who told her that there was footage. Footage, mind you, that does not exist. Footage that would exist had the cameras in the back been repaired when you realized that they were broken. You're not gonna tell me how to run my daycare. You offered footage to someone when there is no footage to be found, so how are you going to solve that? I'm going to tell her to come find you because you have cameras posted up all over here giving people the impression that their children are being watched and recorded and they're not because the cameras don't even work. And that's not my fault, that's yours. I don't know who you think you are. I don't think you know how business works at all. Sometimes when things break, we don't have the compensation, the money to be able to fix it right away. Don't talk to me like I'm an idiot. I know how things work. I mean, it doesn't really make sense though because you have a, a broken camera in the back when you guys just bought a brand new playground when the old playground didn't even need to be replaced. I do not have to explain my business practices to you. But what your job is, is to deal with the kids and the parents. You caused this problem by offering footage when there isn't any. Otherwise, she wouldn't have asked for any footage. That's not true. People ask for footage all of the time to see what their kid was doing. I mean, they literally have access to it on their phones. The only time anyone's ever asked for footage is because you offered it to them, something I told you to stop doing. People aren't blind. They see the cameras. They read what they signed. They know that they have access to them on their phones. They want to see the footage if something happened to their kid. I have nothing to do with it. I have better things to do than stand here and argue with you. Where are the kids? Why is no one here yet? I was gonna ask you that. All of the other classes seem to have the normal amount of kids in their classrooms, except for our class. There's nobody here yet. For the love of God, class is supposed to start in 10 minutes. I don't understand how you're just good with there nobody being here. Well, I don't really know what you want me to do about it. Start calling some parents and get some answers. God! 
Lauren, I don't know what's going on right now. I've called three parents and they've all gone straight to voicemail. It's like nobody wants to come to the daycare today. Well, not nobody. I'm here and I'm ready to see footage. I presume Debbie is here? Yeah, she is actually just in her office. Great. Anthony, why don't you go play with your friend? Where's everyone? Ah, uh, yeah, we're not exactly sure, but I think maybe they're just running late. So it is true. Honey, don't worry. Mommy will be right back and then we'll get going. I'm sorry, what's true? Oh, that's not my business. I'm gonna go handle mine. I'll be right back, baby. What do you think she's talking about? I have no idea, but I'm gonna find out. Hello? Jesus, what do you not knock? Excuse me, but um, the door was open and I thought that you knew I was coming. You're the mom with the biter? My son is not a biter. Then why are you in here? Because that teacher in there is claiming that my son bit somebody and he is not a biter, so I wanna see evidence. Evidence? Evidence, yes. Some footage, I'd like to see this biting occur. I don't know who told you different, but I don't have any footage to show you. I don't have, I don't have anything to show you whether your son bit or not. The teacher saw him bite, and so he bit. Most two-year-olds do bite. Most do, but mine doesn't. So, so you're telling me you have no evidence or nothing to show me? Then why would that teacher tell me that you did? Clearly she was misinformed. Those cameras are only rolling for live purposes so you guys can access them on your phones. But as far as recording, I mean, it would just never even have the space to be able to hold the capacity of storing all day long footage. It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. But I'm not signing anything that says my son bit somebody if I don't have any proof to see that he did. That's fine. Consider the paper gone. Wait a second, though. A few months ago, when Anthony left his toy here and another kid took it home, you were able to find out who took it home by watching the camera footage. So how do you have access to it then, but not now? Well, that was before we made the rule where kids weren't allowed to bring toys into the daycare. Right, but that's not what I asked. How were you able to access that footage then, and you're not now? Uh, it had to have been that you accessed it that day. I know that sometimes it will record for that day, but it's deleted right away. There's a lot of inconsistencies here. No wonder there are so many things being said about this place right now. Wait, what do you mean? All right, I'll leave you to figure it out. Come on, baby, let's go. This is a real mess you guys have running here. I'm sorry you feel that way, but is there any way that you can elaborate on what you were saying earlier about what people are saying is true? What, what are you talking about? God, are you guys delusional? Do you live under a rock? Have you looked on Facebook? Facebook? Yes, Facebook. I think your boss is getting all caught up right now, so I don't know what that means for you guys, but we are not staying here. Let's go, baby. What the hell could she be saying on Facebook? I couldn't tell you. I don't even have Facebook. Let me see if I can find out. Ah! Well, that can't be good. No, it can't. I don't even want to know. <laughs> You're not going to go check on her? What are you, crazy? Are you going to go check on her? Well, I yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Whatever, did you find anything on Facebook? Hold on, I'm still looking. It's gotta be about that Tina lady, right? I mean, there's nobody else who seemed to have a problem this week, especially enough to make Facebook post about it. Oh, I 100% think it's Tina. Oh, yep, yep. What is it, what does it say? Rude staff, disgusting, dysfunctional rotation of work. Rotation of work, what does that even mean? I couldn't even tell you, but this is this is where Tina really gives herself away. Disgusting, moldy floors that the children are forced to sleep on, as well as chemically filled cups that are disguised as fruit. <laughs> this is only one page that I can read. There's another one that I can't even access because it's in some private mom group. Oh my god, that, that's got Tina written all over it. Oh, it sure does. It's actually unbelievable that she'd take it to this degree, I mean... And the fact that they're eating it up. I mean, so many people are like, unbelievable daycare. I would never take my child there. <laughs> I can't believe this. Is there a reason the two of you are laughing about something so unbelievably serious? We weren't laughing about the situation. I was just reading what was being said, and it's so clearly ridiculous. I but what you might find ridiculous is my entire business. My life is on the line right now, and you want to laugh about it. I have everything going on right now, and I walk in here to you two laughing about it. Debbie, I'm sorry, but we weren't laughing. We were reading the post, like I said, and it's clearly ridiculous. Not this is ridiculous, but what they're saying. Clearly, it isn't that ridiculous if your entire classroom isn't here right now. Okay, yeah, that's, that's valid. Yeah, it's valid. Why don't you two do something? 
why don't you two do something? I don't care if there aren't kids in this classroom. There are plenty of things that need to get done in here. Disinfecting, organizing, cleaning, washing, sweeping, mopping. The list goes on and on. While all of us still have a job here, you will be working. Okay, okay. Wait, you know what? While you two are at it, why don't you go ahead and disinfect this floor? Because honestly, it is pretty disgusting. and I don't understand why neither one of you let me know how bad it was getting. You let the kids sleep on this? This is disgusting, and you need to raise higher standards for our daycare. You're upset, and rightfully so, but the floor? You're in here every single day. You see the floor just as much as we do. How dare you? I am not in charge of this floor. My office floor is so spotless you can eat off of it. I I'm in here for what, but just a second? I grab some paperwork, and then I leave. And you're the ones putting the mats down on the floor with all of the children. This is disgusting. But the thing is, I don't even know what you're talking about because the floor looks fine. It's not it's not dirty. It gets cleaned regularly. You've never had an issue with it before, but now because there's a post up, now you have a problem with the floor? I do not have time to sit here and argue with you about how dirty the floor is. I have to go save my business. You do something about it or leave. Yeah, that's what I thought. Then I'll leave. What did you say? I said then I'll leave. You'll leave? Yeah, Debbie, I'll leave. Oh, this place is just the worst, huh? No, this place is not the worst, but you're kind of acting like the worst. You're letting whatever's going on in your life and the drama that's ensuing because of whatever inflict how you you treat your employees, how you treat everyone. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this floor and you're acting like there is now because there's drama going on and people are, are talking bad about your business. You are on another level of disrespect today. As I said before, do something about the floor or leave. And as I said before, I'm leaving. If you leave, you'll be out of a job. Okay, I can find another job. Good, then get out of my daycare. Oh, I'm going. <laughs> well, you're so quiet, I forgot you were even here. As I was saying, clean the floor. I have to go talk to my brother now and try to get his deranged wife or ex-wife or whatever she is to take down these awful posts. So, do your job. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hold on, let me put you on speaker so it doesn't look like I'm on the phone. Okay. Okay. I hate how she treats us like crap. I know. Me too. I hate how she treats us like crap. Gotcha. I don't know. I'm hoping all of this just blows over and eventually she gets over this because I don't, I don't want you to leave. I mean, do you want to leave? I don't want to leave the kids or you, but... Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm gonna clean this floor and hopefully try to make her happy. I don't care. She's destroying everything. All she wants you for is your money anyway. I don't want to hear one more word out of your mouth in defense of her. I want that post removed. I want everything removed off of Facebook that is talking bad about my business. So help me, Jerry. You better be doing whatever you can to make sure my daycare is filled to the brim. If not, you're gonna have hell to pay from me. I don't care if it wasn't you who posted them. Get them removed! Hi, babe. Oh, hi, honey. Tina. What? We're not gonna act like I don't know what's going on. I don't know what you're talking about. What's going on? Tina. What? Tina, come on. I talked to my sister. Okay. No, it's not okay. She's freaking out because you're destroying her business. Why are you writing these things all over Facebook? This is ridiculous. Of course she gets her brother to try to save the day. Her daycare is disgusting and you're trying to force me to send my daughter there and I don't want to. So I'm just letting the world know what's actually going on behind closed doors in there because it's disgusting. There is nothing wrong with that daycare. We've both been in and out of it a million times. January needs to go somewhere where she can socialize. That was a part of our deal. See, Jerry, that's a big problem with this. The fact that you think you need to have a deal worked out for this marriage to work, it's, it's, it's barbaric and it's disgusting and it's unneeded, quite frankly. No, Tina, what was uncalled for was you sleeping with your cousin's husband in our bed. That's the reason the deal's even in place and you're lucky you're getting a second chance at this. Wow, are you kidding me? Didn't Kathleen just get done telling us that the, the root of our problems in our relationship were bringing up old problems? I don't give a rat's ass what Kathleen has to say. You're the one who found her. If we're gonna find a couples therapist, I wanna find her together. In the meantime, delete the posts and figure out how to make this right for my sister. Delete the posts? Are you kidding me? I just posted a new one. Everyone's gonna know exactly how she treats everyone in her daycare, and you're not stopping me. All right, enough with the dramatics. I mean, no dramatics here. I just wish she wouldn't treat us like crap. 
Yeah, that's one of your sister's employees talking about your sister. It's already at 3,000 views. You know, you're really starting to piss me off. I'm pissing you off? I haven't done anything. You listen to that recording. You hear how they talk about her? I mean, they wouldn't be saying that for no reason. Is that footage from right now? Because you know damn well if she's treating her employees like crap, it's because of you. You're stressing her out. So her being stressed out is a reason for her to treat her employees like crap? What's your reason? I don't treat you like crap. <laughs> we are not gonna get into this right now. But if you know it's good for you, you won't post that post. You know it's good for me and for January. Speaking of January, where is she? She's at my mom's where she should be during the day instead of this filthy daycare. Tina, how many times did I have to tell you I don't want her over there? That's the whole reason I want her at the daycare. All your mom does is stick her in front of a damn TV. Oh, she does not. Yes, she sure does. You're so concerned what goes into January's body, but you're not, you're not concerned about her sitting there rotting her brain out staring at the television all day long? Wouldn't you rather her play with kids her age and, and learn skills that she's going to use for her life rather than just staring at a screen? My mom does not just put her in front of a screen. They baked a cake last week. Oh, cake! Great! Wonderful! I'm going to go get my daughter, and then I'm going to go figure out what my sister's going through, and you better not post that post. I swear to God, Tina, you better not post that post. And if I do, you better not. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, one second. Well, hello. Hi. What can I help you with? So I'm Jerry. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's nice to meet you. Um, your sister's in her office. She's been ruthless today, huh? Uh. It's okay. You can tell me. Yeah, it's been pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Well, I'm gonna go try to talk to her. Um, thank you for letting me know everything. I didn't, I didn't catch your name. What was it again? It's Lauren. Lauren. Well, thank you, Lauren. And wish me luck. Go away. I said go away. Uh, Leave me alone. Hmm. What part of go away do you not understand? Deb, it's me. You. Me? Well, what the hell did I do? You're the one who brought her into our life, and now people are all over the internet talking all kinds of mean things about me. I know, and I'm sorry about that, and I'm getting her to try to take it down, but you can't treat everyone around you like crap because you're upset about it. Upset about it? This is my whole livelihood, Jerry! I know that, but just because some stupid people said some stupid stuff on the internet doesn't mean your business is gonna disappear. You still have your business here, it'll be just fine. It's not just fine, these mom groups are ruthless! Like anything else, it'll all blow over, it'll be just fine. Damn it, Jerry, you don't know that! I mean, how do you know she's not gonna post more things? For all I know, she's working on one right now! She's not gonna post anything else. Why are you being so dismissive of me? I mean, how do you know she's not going to write another post? She's going to write another post, and I know that because I just got back from seeing her. As far as me being dismissive, I'm being dismissive because you're being dramatic. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm being dramatic. You are. Don't get me wrong. I understand you're having a crappy day and you're, some things are being said about you, but you're in here throwing a tantrum over an article being written about you. It doesn't make any sense. Just, just buck up and move forward. Buck up? Buck up, you know, move on, move forward, stop treating your employees like crap. Treating my employees like crap? I don't treat my employees like crap, why would you say that? Nothing, just, just don't do it. No, why would you say that? I don't know, the front girl in the front, she just looks sad and I know how you get when, when you're stressed. Who, Lauren? What, did she say something? No, she didn't, but you just saying that right there just tells me that you have been treating them like crap today, so stop. Jerry, this is not your business and I do not need you to tell me how to treat my employees. What I need you to do is get a hold of your ex-wife or wife or whatever you decide that she's going to be. <laughs> Don't shake your head at me. Get out of my office. Before you do, is January coming back or no? Yeah, she'll be back Monday. Great. Have a good rest of your night, Lauren. Have a good night. Hope you're leaving soon. I'll be seeing you on Monday. See you then. He doesn't get to tell me what to do. See how she likes that one. Have you deleted those posts? Well, have you? Why are you back so soon? And where's my daughter? She's at your mother's. I haven't had a chance to go pick her up yet. I went to go check on my sister. Now, did you delete the posts? You told me that you were going to get her first and then go to your sister's. Why? Why would you not tell me that you weren't going to go get her? I had a change of plans. Did you delete the post? Yeah, a change of plan pertaining our daughter. Hey! Well, you won't answer my damn question, so I'll just look for myself. Damn it, Jerry, give me my phone back. You have got to be kidding me, Tina. What? Don't what me. I specifically told you to delete the post, and in turn, you decided to post another one? You aren't my dad. You don't get to tell me what I can and cannot post. 
literally despicable. What are you doing? Deleting these before my sister has a chance to find them. You don't get to take things down. Give that to me. Look who's calling. Hi, Deb. Hi, Deb. Hi, Deb is what you have to say to me right now. Are you kidding me? You told me that you wouldn't post any more posts. You told me that the posts would be deleted. The posts are still up, and she posted a new one. No, Deb. No, no. I just deleted them. I know, I know. There was another one posted. I know. Listen, listen, listen. I, I just deleted them. Look. Go look at your computer. All right, I'm going to my office. Let me look. I'm telling you, it's deleted. It's gone. I just did it myself. Okay, it's down, but I don't want her in my daycare anymore. I don't want her in here at all. Come on, Deb, that makes things really difficult for me. I mean, she's January's mother at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, this is my daycare and I'm not gonna be disrespected in it and have these posts made about my daycare that are just simply not true. January's always gonna be welcome at my daycare, but her mother is not. I do not want her here. I will bring January home if need be, but I don't want Tina here at all. All right, I'll see you Monday. She doesn't want me there. What is she, five? <laughs> Get out. What? You heard me. I said get out. <laughs> Jerry, you've no right to kick me out of my own home. No. Please remember, I won it in the divorce. Of course. Jerry, we, we're getting back together. We were getting back together. What are you saying? We're not anymore just because your sister wants to cause some drama? Yeah, it's Debbie's fault just like it was my fault when you cheated, right? You know, you put the blame on everybody else in your life, but the fact of the matter is, is it all comes back down to you. I don't need the lecture, <laughs> okay? Tina, I will be back in about an hour and a half. I'm gonna go get our daughter, but when I get back, please don't be here. Tell my mom I said hi. The floor looks really nice. Thank you. Earlier when my brother was in here, did you have a chance to talk to him? I just pointed him into the direction of your office and we talked for a second. Why? I was just curious. Okay. Did you happen to mention to him about me treating you badly? No. Um, like I said, we just chatted for a second. Okay. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Hi, Nancy. Hello, Jerry. Where's January at? Oh, yeah, she's just watching some TV over there. Yeah, I see that. Um, I did tell Tina maybe she didn't quite pass the message along, but I don't really want her watching TV during the day and if she's over here. I just think it might be what's best for her. What you choose to do with your daughter is just fine. But I'm 62 years old and you're not gonna tell me what I'm gonna do in my own house. I'm not trying to tell you what to do, I just think it's pertaining to my daughter so I should have a say. You don't get a say, not when it comes to my house. I'm older than you and you do not tell me what to do. Now, get your daughter and get on out of my house. All right, come on January, let's go. January. You've got to be kidding me. How long has she been on this damn thing? You are not going to curse at me in my own home. Like I said, get your daughter and get on out of here. You say that so detached. She's your granddaughter. She is, and I love her very much, but she's been here three hours later than I was told she was going to be. Why don't you learn how to parent before you tell me how to do things in my house? Learn to parent? I didn't bring her here. Your daughter brought her here. I mean, I want her at the daycare. From what I've heard about that daycare, you might as well just set her out in the dumpster out back. <laughs> There's not a damn thing wrong with that daycare. My sister runs it just fine. <laughs> I know my daughter. She wouldn't just make something up. I mean, she's a very cleanly girl. She may have horrible tastes when it comes to picking men, but she knows how to keep a place clean. Okay, we're going. Come on, January. <coughs> Hello, Earth to January. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Bug. Did you just call her Bug? Yeah, like, like Ladybug. Cute. All right, baby, let's go. We're gonna go watch a movie, let's go. Here goes nothing. I wasn't sure if you were gonna come. Oh, I'm so glad you did, come here. I wasn't sure if I was gonna come or not either. Is she here yet? Yes, she's in her office. Um, She did seem like she was in a really good mood this morning though, she brought coffee. That leads me to believe she's in a bad mood. She always has Dr. Pepper. Oh, no, she was drinking Dr. Pepper. She brought us coffee. What? I've been working here for, for forever and she's never got you coffee. I know, I know. So if I were you, I would just act like nothing happened and just go about your day like normal. That's the plan, but uh, I don't know. I'm done stressing about it. I'm gonna go drink my coffee. Yeah, yeah, go, go enjoy your coffee. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Hi, January. Say good morning, Jan. I'm a little new to this whole thing. So uh, here's her lunchbox. Should have everything you need in it. 
but you call me if if you need anything. Um, I get the hang of it quicker than you know. This is perfect though. We'll let you know in case of anything. All right, have a good one. Come on, January. You have a good one too. I hope you enjoyed that coffee this morning. That was from you? Yeah, did my sister not pass along the message? <laughs> no, she didn't. Well, if that ain't Deb, then I don't know what is. But I, I just wanted to thank you for everything you put up with last week and my sister's tantrum over everything and Tina. Tina's out of the picture. We won't have to deal with her anymore. Oh, it's no worries. I mean, I, I appreciate you saying thank you, but it's just my job. Oh, well, you're great at it. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Why are you looking at me like that? Nothing. Just drink your coffee. Well, well, well. Oh, don't stop the party on my account. I just didn't know that you still worked here. Well, I, what I remember is a lot of things going down that shouldn't have been going down, and you just weren't doing what you were told to be doing. I, it just was, this was your job. A job that I told you to do, you refused to do it, and I asked you to leave. Did I not? Yeah, no, you did. Okay, well, nothing's changed, so go ahead and get your things. Abby, can't we just, uh, get your things. Okay. Yeah, I'll get my things. <laughs> I don't understand. I was just kidding. I wasn't being serious. I put your stuff down. Get settled. Why would I get rid of you? Last week was a mess. That was all Tina's fault. That wasn't your doing. <laughs> oh, lighten up. You're too sensitive. I'll be in my office if you guys need me. Is she okay? Are you okay? She's a fucking psycho. I'm not gonna let it ruin my day. I'm not. We're gonna have a good day today. Yes, now that's the spirit. Ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. All right, everyone, let's sit down for snack time. Miss Cece, I want a cup. You want a cup? Well, I don't know. Let's see what's in your lunchbox, okay? Let's see. I think you're in luck. One fruit cup it is. Let me open it for you. 